Hello and welcome to another edition of Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. I hope everybody is staying well and staying safe during this period. I know we're probably all watching a lot more YouTube uh, than we did uh, before, and uh, that's great. And I'm glad that you're with me for this pencil review today of the USA Titanium Number no. 2 HB Pencil. Uh, I found these uh, a few months ago uh, at a big box store um, and it came in this fairly large uh, container of 60 pencils, so that's five dozen. And I don't remember what the price was, but I honestly want to say it was somewhere in the neighborhood of five or six dollars for five dozen pencils. Um, it, not expensive, really. Uh, but uh, what what uh, attracted me to these pencils were a number of things. One says here, made in Tennessee. And those of you who are pencil aficionados, particularly American-made pencil aficionados, know that Tennessee is a very um, historic place for pencil manufacturing in the United States. And there's a number of pencil manufacturers in Tennessee. Uh, the most noted might be the Musgrave Pencil Company in Shelbyville. Um, but um, here we have, these are pre-sharpened USA Titanium, making a big deal out of the quality here. Uh, high quality, premium, wood, number two HB pencils, uh, durable lead, long lasting erasers. It has the sustainability seal on the front, which is always a good thing. And then in the back, you again, USA Titanium. It's got a guarantee of the quality of the pencil. Uh, again, the sustainability seal, the seal of the Pencil Makers Association, PMA, and then some other corporate information there, as well as a recycling logo for the kind of the thin, uh, some sort of a plastic a case that it comes in. It has a neat little flap here on the back uh, which you can just sort of lift up and get into the pencils. Let's do that. Let's take a closer look at one of these titanium pencils which of course uh, you may have seen I did a uh, earlier review on a gold USA gold pencil so you know what's better than gold titanium I guess um, I don't know in terms of value but perhaps in terms of strength so here is a, it is a pre-sharpened pencil and it's got a pretty short point on the top of it but it is sharpened it is a very traditional uh, color in terms of uh, the sort of bright gold uh, paint job and it has a uh, very uh, a chrome um, perhaps as they might say titanium color uh, imprint here on the pencil itself USA titanium HB2 and then it also says soft uh, the front of the box talks about the premium eraser, so we'll see how good the eraser is. It actually kind of has a, <clears throat> what I would say, a handsome ferrule attached to the uh, hexagonal uh, uh, body here of the pencil. It is, again, silver. They're going, keeping with the titanium theme, and it has two... Uh, black bands that go around it. So, uh, sort of, you know, interesting uh, and a little different, perhaps. Uh, certainly makes it stand out. So, here it is. USA Titanium P2. 
pencil. So um, let's take a look. You know what? I, uh, while I appreciate that it's sharpened, you know, I have to tell you, this point, uh, which a lot of pencils that come pre-sharpened have a point like this. You know what, folks? It is not going to get you very far. Honestly, look at that puny thing. So uh, what I'm going to do is see if I can put it in a sharpener here and get a little better point on that pencil. So this is a Kuhn German pencil sharpener uh, for two different sized pencils. And so, okay, we got a little better point on it um, for putting it to paper. So let's just see, let's just do a little writing here. So this is a USA titanium pencil. Premium HB number two. Hmm. Has a nice uh, dark line. It is a very smooth writing pencil. And it's made in the great state of Tennessee. Where exactly, we don't know. And... Hmm, very nice. Let's come in a little closer here. Uh, but this is a uh, general purpose pencil for school or office. Yeah, hmm, very smooth. Uh, I have to say, it is a, a decent writing pencil, uh, probably better than most of the inexpensive pencils uh, in this uh, price range or less that I've tried. Now, they tout this premium eraser. Let's just see how it does on this particular paper. Uh, okay. You know, it's still a shadow there, so, you know, all right, we'll, we'll try some other erasing with it. But it writes fairly smoothly and nicely. Um, let's, let's do this. Let's put a little of this pencil on the paper here. Yeah. Dark line. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got a smudge. Uh, as you'd expect, it's a number two. Um, definitely uh, has that feel, and I, it's a softer number two um, within the number two range. So let's try some other. Let's bring in our let's bring in our eraser brigade here and take a look and see using different types of erasers how how it does we'll start with the pink eraser see if this yields any better results than the eraser that came with the pencil uh, about the same we'll try our vinyl eraser here much better job on this with that and then we've got a natural uh, rubber eraser here we'll give that a shot too see how that does okay well a, uh, a vinyl style eraser I think will um, erase this really nicely so 
Uh, the erasability is, is pretty good with the right kind of uh, eraser. So, uh, you know, use a, a plastic uh, vinyl type eraser and I think you'll get good, good results. Let's uh, do some more writing with this USA Titanium number two pencil. Uh, let's see. How about some quotes? I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. Blanche Dubois via Tennessee Williams. Um, point retention so far is pretty good actually for a softer pencil. Um, the, at the point, and I've, I, I always say it when I'm reviewing pencils, I'm a bit of a heavy handed pencil user. I do have uh, a tend to put a bit of pressure on the pencils as I write. That's just my issue, but um, it, the point retention here so far is not, not too bad. We acquire the strength we have overcome. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Uh, one more here, let's see. I just gave it another little sharpen. Shun those studies in which the work that results dies with the worker. Leonardo da Vinci. Well, I have to tell you, uh, I'm going to give it up here for the USA titanium pencil. Uh, very nice, nicely done, good quality wood. 
used here. It sharpens very nicely, takes a point nicely. Uh, you know, the eraser is, uh, it's okay. Uh, but the pencil is, is good. And, um, you know, it's a yellow pencil. Certainly would be great for school, uh, for office, for any kind of general writing at all. Um, nice point retention. Uh, there's a little bit of a smudge factor, but not one that is annoying uh, or uh, one that would get in the way and uh, yeah uh, a good good pencil nice I will enjoy writing with this so um, I wish everybody well I'm gonna say stay safe and stay strong And we will get through this difficult period together and come out that much stronger on the other end. Thanks for being a part of this pencil review.